A check presentation on Friday morning at the Veterans of Foreign Wars post in downtown Pikeville was certainly cause for celebration, but for many of these heroes, including East Kentucky barbell owner Jacob Goebel, the organization behind the ceremony and the veterans themselves deserve the most recognition. As far as the, uh, the organization goes, our 501c3 nonprofit, 100% of the funds go back to the veteran. Not just veterans, it's primarily veterans in Kentucky. It's all Kentucky based at all. The, the president of the organization is Chuck Reed. Started it about 14, 15 years ago, roughly. Um, but all the volunteers are all vets, everyone of us. I mean, I help with the Eastern Kentucky region uh, with the organization, get things like this planned, get vets from this area involved. Uh, but what they do is they take guys to Alaska for a week on fish, salmon fishing trips during the salmon run. Uh, they go down to Florida a couple times a year for fishing trips and hunting trips. Tennessee for fishing and hunting trips. Lake Erie, they take guys up to Lake Erie. That's a big event for them too. They go up there in the summer for a week and they do enough but a bunch of good guys out on Lake Erie go fishing. I mean, it's, it, it's to get guys involved, you know, and women, men and veterans, and get that community involved. Get them outside, get them moving, get them doing things. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. The event for which the check was awarded was a locally held arm wrestling and powerlifting event put on by the Wounded Warriors organization with help from the city of Pikeville. And according to Pikeville City Commissioner Steve Hartsock, events like these may well become a regular occurrence. Bucky Atkins came to me uh, a few weeks ago and he approached me about this idea. And me and him got together and we had a conversation with city manager Phil Delswick. Well, I was just so impressed with the way Philip and the other city commissioners and Mayor Carter jumped on board with this. And Bucky and them, they just put on a great performance down here. It was well attended. It was a great day to have it. And I'd like to thank our Pipe Fire Department for letting us use their facility. And it, it was just a great event and what a great cause to do it for. The Wounded Heroes program is great. It helps so many people. And that's what we wanted the city of Pipe to be a part of. And we want people to come to Pipewell to enjoy such events as this. So I, I, I think this is just the start of something here. I, we're on to something or Bucky and them are, that we can make this an annual event. Goble also encourages anybody who is interested in becoming involved with the Wounded Warriors organization or anyone who would simply like to donate to their cause to find more information online. If anybody wants to donate to them, just to donate to them, you can do that too, and they would really be appreciative of that. Any kind of donations, you can do that year round. Um, it doesn't have to be just for an event like this. It can be, you know, you can donate to them year round. You can find them online. They've got a Facebook account, you know, social media, just like everybody else does nowadays. You can find them on there, Kentucky Wounded Heroes. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joshua Sloan.